Hi, today I'm going to look at what foods and drinks you could try when you have a low appetite to optimise nutritional intake and possibly alleviate the symptoms of a sore throat and provide essential hydration. When you have a high temperature or a sore throat or the flu, the last thing you want to do is eat. And the first thing everyone recommends when you have a fever is to drink plenty of fluids. That's because when you have a fever, your body's temperature increases, which makes your body sweat more. And the more you sweat, the more dehydrated you become. So by drinking plenty of fluids, you try to replace the fluids and nutrients you have lost. So which rehydrating fluids or foods are best? There is no one fluid or food that is best as everyone has a different preference on what soothes their throat and finds palatable. However, water is the best of fluids to rehydrate you, so water can be taken in its simplest form as a warm drink or a cold drink. Whatever you find suitable and soothing for your throat. You can flavour your water with lemon, ginger, honey, turmeric or black seed to your palatability, again hot or cold, to soothe your throat. So try not to force yourself or your children to drink or eat something you or they find unpalatable. There is no robust scientific evidence that any of these treatments cure a cold, a flu or a fever other than provide hydration. Nevertheless, they do no harm in small quantities to relieve the symptoms of a sore throat and a cough. Therefore, I will be uploading some recipes of hydrating drinks and foods on my social media sites, so do check them out. Some people have found that drinks containing sugar calms the stomach better than other liquids. Other nourishing foods which not only provide plenty of fluids but also other essential nutrients include broths, soups and stews such as chicken broth, bean and tomato soup, vegetable soups and lentil soups which, which can provide plenty of nutrients such as protein, iron, zinc, vitamin C and sometimes even fibre. These are excellent ways of taking in fluids and nutrition. Some people find yoghurt soothing, either on its own or as a part of a milkshake. Milkshakes can also provide protein and calcium along with plenty of fluid. Some people may find ice creams, ice lollies, sorbets or even ice soothing itself. Some people also find using ingredients such as lemon, ginger, garlic, honey, turmeric, chilli or pepper in their cooking helpful, while others find making ice lollies or cold drinks with the above ingredients helpful too. The aim of drinking plenty is to reduce the risk of dehydration and this is difficult when you've got a low appetite. So you can start by taking small sips and then gradually drinking more. You can use a spoon to make it easier for your child to swallow the fluids. Try to aim to drink enough during the day so your pee is a pale clear colour and this is especially if you've been sweating a lot or suffering from diarrhoea and or vomiting too. When your appetite is very low and you're not eating very much, you may reach out for a vitamin supplement or multivitamin supplement to bridge the gap. However, some of the vitamin supplements and multivitamin supplements may need to be taken with food to be absorbed so they don't work on an empty stomach. So always read the label. Instead of relying on supplements when you have a low appetite, try to continue to eat and drink regularly and try to choose foods from all the main food groups. Food and drinks to avoid include alcohol, as it dehydrates the body, and processed foods, as they're high in salt, which can also dehydrate the body and often don't provide much nutrition. For some recipes of hydrating drinks and foods, check us out on the usual social media platforms. Bye.